Okay, now we... Okay, for, for, for some reason the stream deck wasn't responding, so I just, yeah, shut it off, started it back up. Uh, <clears throat> Ahoy, everyone who may be watching, no... Now I'm, now I'm getting confused. Ahoy, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Lillian today, along with... Just make trick here. Uh, just give me a moment. Uh, much better. Yeah, I'm okay. still sick. <laughs> and yes. welcome back to <laughs> Minecraft All the Mods. Uh, let me just up this. Because I, for I almost forgot that I had it lowered. There we, we go. Uh, one thing that's probably immediately obvious is, well, all of these outlines all around the place. That is because I made this, the Spectral Eye Amulet, which, well, allows you to see stuff through walls, or it, at least it allows you to see entities behind walls, with white entities being, well, the colonists. And then we have red, which are enemies, and then we have blue, which are neutral. This will make it a lot easier to find raiders and such. <laughs> yeah, th that's going to be very practical. Uh, wait, wait, was that heard me uh, blowing my nose? Nope. Good. Then it means I should continue turning away from the mic when I need to blow my nose. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, there have been a few casualties again in this in the colony, and I've been expanding somewhat. Uh, over here, <clears throat> I put up a school to be built, which well still needs to be done. Over here is a library that I built, so that's a uh, Okay, there's, there's something off, off of my throat today, it seems. Mm. Okay. Uh, yeah, we have a library here. Any idle uh, villagers or colonists will go over here to improve their stats. Uh, we have a start of the animal area over here with just chickens for now. And yeah, I've cleared out all of these chickens because I was getting sick of cleaning out all the eggs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, beyond that, there hasn't really been too much that has been changed. Some upgrades here and there, as and well as... Hmm? You improved the roads? Uh, not too much. I, I expanded them a bit. Uh, but for the most part, I have just been building on the other side here. <clears throat> Though I haven't been too active recently. Uh, freaking cockroaches again. That, that seems to be the only thing from Alex's mob that is actually freaking showing up. There we go. Uh, yes, I, I've also built a few iron golems that should be wandering around. Uh, there's the other one. We still can't really do anything with the villagers here. How, how the hell did it get in? Oh, because of this. Okay. Coming out, both of you. Uh, get NL3 and you get a lot of carrots. Uh, yeah, uh, we could we could maybe turn that into a carrot farm with uh, <clears throat> with create stuff. Uh, beyond that, I've made a new set of armor. I've actually been start actually uh, been enchanting them, and I actually learned that you could stack up enchantments now. Uh, I I actually didn't know that that was a thing. Uh, I thought if when something was enchanted, that was well as enchanted as it was ever going to get. Yeah. Uh, even I knew that. <laughs> yeah, that shows what a, how much of a Minecraft noob I am. Uh, I've upgraded a little bit here in that I... Well, oop, I forgot we can move through that. I <clears throat> Instead of having a funnel just drop everything into a hopper, this chute is instead dropping everything into the chest. Uh, that way I can't accidentally pick stuff up as I run past. It is still going. The rest is still going mostly the same. I can, I can clean this area up some, eventually. Just get rid of the extra stuff. Uh, the extras are still getting burned over here. I could probably improve that as well with the shoot, but oh well. Uh, beyond that, I started on doing the same here, but I haven't gotten to that yet. Uh, I also learned something new. I've been watching a. Uh, I've, I haven't actually looked up what the or paid attention to what the YouTuber's name is, but uh, I've been watching some videos lately 
of the uh, I survived 100 days in hardcore such and such. And one of those was uh, with create. And uh, apparently you can put deployers on top of a uh, contraption and point them, have them pointed down and then have them set so that they plant uh, the saplings by, well, setting one up in the filter. Uh, and that way it would replant uh, saplings on its own. So, yeah, <laughs> I might uh, I might get rid of the uh, replanting stuff that the, they used to have going. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, for now we have other things to do. We have the... We haven't done anything here. This is still ongoing on its own. Uh, hey, dangerous. Let's see, I can throw that out. I basically left this on so it can continue to give experience, because I have been working on this with the enchants a bit. Uh, I also added a second chest to this, because of just the sheer amount of stuff that was coming in. Where, yeah, it's where did a, that come from? A little stuff we can recycle and drain magic from. Yeah, Ooh. for the recycling though, we need a lot of grave dust, and I don't think that... Has that been gathering that as well? It doesn't look like it. Yeah, hmm. no, I can also see some of the gear be useful to give to our guards when we can. Yeah, they they will need level 5 guard towers for that, though. But yeah. that is a decent it, point. It will be a while. Yeah. Again, it will be a while before we can do that, but... When we can, it's gonna be nice. Yeah. And oh, also... Something that Helium did research on or stumbled upon. We now know why accidentally the township here dressed like pirates ish. Okay. It's not really some of research. I, I more ran across. Appar apparently, wherever you build your uh, colony also determines what sort of clothes they have, or at the very least, when they are when they don't have a job yet. Because I I on the tests. Uh, on the test world that I made, a lot of them were walking around in Victorian era stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and we could probably test that with her. Let's see. Uh, likes to wander around the world. Makes mm, that's not really stats worth of five emeralds, but yeah, we have plenty of stuff here. Well, I say plenty of stuff. I I've I've invested quite a bit of this into something over this way. Uh, do you have a more agreeable price? You have pretty decent stats, but nothing spectacular. Um, you, 24 books, da -da -da, warmer place, and also a bit average on the stats. It seems that we only have female visitors now. Okay, you, are, you have good stats. Okay. Oh, you want wait. nine enchanted books? Okay, we can we can miss a few. So I'll give you that. So you stay. Well, no, the one with average stats wanted twenty-five enchanted book, and she this one with better stats only wanted yeah, nine. Yeah, she wants books. Regular. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, okay. What was I supposed to say? Um, what's going on if the other one was about to scam us or something? Yeah, that that can still happen. I think that they will. That they can just run off when you've given them stuff. I haven't had oh. it happen yet, but it is still a possibility. Also, I rediscovered one of our backpacks. <laughs> we had it stashed away somewhere. Uh, and I see you've been actually re not only the enchant you, you also rebuild your mage of robes. Yep. Let's see, that's three. That's four. So you've been sewing. Sort of, yeah. How's Five. the hands? Uh, bloody, but okay. <laughs> I knew it! Okay. Just need to make a bit more space for all of these. And yeah, that is six of them. Uh, projectile protection one we can miss. Magic protection one. Uh, quick charge. I'm keeping that in case we make a crossbow. That for in case we find <clears throat> a trident. Uh, is there another single one somewhere here? Curse of Bones. Chance to apply Bone Shield when hit. Hammer mob. Okay, that one is... Uh, it's always annoying when the descriptions are glitched out like that. 
Uh, uh, yeah, I, I have been mixing up the yeah, enchantments here and there. Yeah, apparently I didn't know that you could actually improve them or by the, putting two of the same level together uh, on an anvil. <clears throat> and then it would uh, yeah give you one of the extra, up, one level up. Okay. I'm not sure if that's vanilla or modded, but I do know even in vanilla you can put several enchantments on the same item. Do I think it's max free per item? Uh, let's see. Well, this one has three at the moment. If I could... Actually, we could see if we... Uh, let's go up. We have that bone one here. Shield of bones. Yeah, curse... Curse of bones. Let's see. If we can put that onto... Actually, I think once you have put it onto an item, you actually need to use the another item or not. Okay. Well, okay, so we can just add them up. That could all be part of the apotheosis, apotheosis mod, though. And yes, we have a second scroll. I tried something with the uh, blood stuff, but <laughs> that didn't work. Okay. Apparently that uh, squid was tired of living. Anyways, then. There is one more thing I really have to show at the moment. And after that, we can get started on something. And that is that... Uh, it, it has been... <laughs> it's becoming more and more obvious that working on the ground is kind of troublesome with how... Yeah, more often than not, I have to rely on raiders getting themselves killed than uh, finding them myself and killing them. Which can mean that there could be... Yeah, it can be multiple days before even uh, before <clears throat> before the colony will get back to work again, because uh, yeah, <laughs> they simply it, the raiders simply won't die, and I can't find them. So yeah, I built a bit of a a staircase, <laughs> <laughs> so that the, the villagers can go up if they want to, so that we can expand upwards to here. If need be. It might That's... as well, since... Why not bid on both areas, like underground district and surface district? True, and it and... would be a lot more compact up here instead of all spread out over there. Mm. Yeah. I also hope we can then finally make easier a water harbor and a sky harbor. Yep. Now, we had talked... I don't think we said it on stream or anything, but the... Uh, do we have any... Of, let me just grab something. Uh, just quickly grab this as an example. We can't put down another town hall, but I can show how it would look, or at least the style would look. So, town hall, and then Caledonia. Now, this doesn't look like much... On its own like that. Uh, also, I need to move it up a bit because apparently this town hall is... <clears throat> the, with most of them, the, the block that you put down is actually on the same level as the rest of the building. But with this one, it's up in the air. So if we up that to level 5... This, oh. I'd say, would fit for a harbor style quite well. Very nice. Again, we can't... Uh, we can't build this one right now. Maybe in a roundabout way we could if we were to build it somewhere else. Uh, then use the... There is a mod in here that allows you to copy buildings, or at least make schematics of them. And then build one over here for from the schematics, but that would take quite a bit of work, time and it won't work. So let's not for the moment. Maybe if those blueprints can be put into a file on your computer instead of Actually, that is probably how they're stored. So maybe I could screw around in... <clears throat> maybe I could screw around in Creative to get that done. For now, yeah, though... Yeah, be careful. Yeah, let's get rid of that. I mean, we could also just uh, simply... make a new village. Not true. Uh, we have most of this area claimed, but maybe we could build something over here or something. Or Actually, there's the... I forget, is that an active village or an, it looks like a, uh, an original village, not a 
a colony. So maybe yeah, we can build we next to that. I mean, these are find some uh, abandoned. I mean, this a if we found abandoned village by the sea, it would be probably a good candidate. True. And we have found a few. Because so far we're here basically by a lake. Uh, that is. I forget what this is. That's a mushroom village, I believe. I think that's where enemies actually spawn, so that wouldn't be a good idea. Um. That's a Wait. colony over there. I'm pretty sure. Mushroom village? Yep, and there is something here. There's one of those big pagodas here. But I, that looks like something else might be there as well. A big what now? A, a pagoda. A pagoda, okay. I thought you said goda. <laughs> you know, the cheese. Uh, no, that would be quite sizable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a village. This is a colony that we could take over, perhaps. Yeah, that that, that one is damn tempting. And uh, yeah, yeah, you see yourself right next to what now, Helion? The ocean, and right next to the village we named Pumpkin Bumpkin. <laughs> a lot but of yeah, ships we, as well. We here. have too much trouble with the current village. We can just move here. I wouldn't want to fully abandon it, at the very least. Hmm. Maybe we could set something up that... Uh, oh, that is, that's one of those windmills. Maybe we could set up something that trade happens between colonies or something. I know you can have feuds and uh, allies, uh, ally yourself with other colonies as well. That's mostly meant for... <clears throat> that's mostly meant for multiplayer servers, of course. Uh, but yeah, maybe we can have that with uh, some of our own uh, colonies or something. Uh, uh, also, I made a bow with quite a few enchantments as well. Holy! I haven't gotten too much use out of this. But the main problems we have with these with being on the ground <clears throat> is that. Uh, for one, it takes quite a bit to dig out an area, of course. Uh, for second is, well, as stated, the raiders can be really hard to find. And, oh, that's a centipede. And... Uh, uh, yeah, what was the third? Oh, uh, yeah. I, 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 go on. Standard mobs can, can still seem to find their way in from some places. I don't know where the hell they are keep coming from. Uh, yeah. There's also the, uh, slimes keep popping up here and there, but I think those those will spawn no matter what in some areas, as long as you're on the ground. I feel we would have yeah, a bit easier if you just, if you just dig, dug inside this side of a mountain. But instead, we got tempted to just use the closest nearby cave we accidentally <laughs> found uh, spawn near. Yeah, at least it's it a good like, lesson. Yeah, like it sounded like a good idea until we realized how deep it went. <laughs> yeah. Still could have oh, done a dear. lot worse with all of this. And oh, yeah. like the mine is progressing pretty well. At the very least, most of the mods keeps uh, are kept out by the wall <clears throat> by the walls and lighting. Speaking of, let me double check. Since we have these night vision goggles now, we don't actually see if there is anywhere they might be able to spawn or not. And okay, over here I also started on two more buildings, namely the, the graveyard and the mystical site. <clears throat> so let's let's dig that out for now as well. Yeah, and wait. Did we talk about we have to do something special today? Yeah, we. I want to try. I want to try and finally take over the bloody uh, foundry this time. Yeah, for <laughs> that would make a lot of building easier. Yeah, having a big open area like that, it will also keep quite the area a lot safer. They they can't actually come over here, but I presume having a big open area like that ready would 
be well pretty useful for building as well. There. Yeah, that way we don't need to dig it out. It's already dug out for us, after all. True. Um, I'm not sure if I've said it before. I'm not sure if I did this last stream, but I've upgraded some of our tools with queen steel and such. So they last quite a bit longer. I still should set up a sorting system. <clears throat> with, uh, where is it? This, the ender bag. At the moment, everything that I put in this thing just gets put into a big box with all of, a lot of other junk. But I should probably set up a sorting system so that it actually, well, sorts everything out. Uh, that could take quite a bit of time. For now... Uh, let's get rid of the arrows for a second. We can always just wrap those back. And... As, yeah, as fun as it is for this guy to just have an over, uh, overlook here, I do want him to get the hell out at some point or another. <laughs> okay. Um, that can go there. And I think there is only one more thing to show then, and that would be here. Though I should probably bring this down to a digging area first. So, let's see where, we could probably just put it down here and have a dig on, because I've made a bit, from that uh, 100 days in uh, Minecraft Create, I have, <laughs> I've also copied over a design for something. So, let me just get a rail to pu actually put it on. And there. Uh, yeah, a digging contraption or a mine crawler, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Though it's actually facing the wrong way, so... <laughs> uh, dumb thing on my end, at least. Wait. What? If I, if I fuel this thing, just let me grab a bit... Really should clear out this stuff. I know you told me you'd be the tunnel digger, but I did not expect it this to be it. Now, if I do that, the, why the why the hell is it turning like that? It's not supposed to be turning like that. Oh, people, it's the working, Grand Artificer himself and his latest invention already having some hay wiring. Okay, let me... Okay, so what... Hmm, that's a bit odd. It The digging head actually faces towards my back, it seems. Seriously, why is it turned like that? It's not supposed to be turning like that. It's supposed to be... <laughs> Watching straight ahead. It's not supposed to be a bearing part. Did you do something wrong? Have you tested it even? Uh, nope. <laughs> so you... You seriously get show us an untested product? Oh, but well, that's half the fun of it. <laughs> to know whether it'll fail or not. Or to not know. Uh, let's see... Yeah, you definitely rails. are a artificer. Let's first go to bed, though, so we don't have a, an audience upstairs. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I think somebody, someone out there by the walls are having some severe sunburns. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> Pardon you, yeah. Yeah, okay. uh, I might be going for today as well since I'm going to make new eyes for my drink. 
which means new eyes equals movies in the drink. Yes. Which also means more burps. <clears throat> For love of. Okay, spine silk. Okay, that's a decently rare drop. But... Okay, felt like something was <laughs> touching my neck there for a moment. Okay. This is spells working. <laughs> okay, put this there. You almost hit your... S um, that's the wrong direction, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm mostly, I'm mostly, I'm just putting it down at the moment. Let's see, card movement always face toward motion. No, that's, uh, it's, what? oh, no, I need to scroll on that. Uh, let's see, lock rotation, pause actors. Yeah, lock rotation. That way it shouldn't face anything else. Okay. Uh, can I just pick it up again then? Or did it on... Okay, it seems something is going. It's not supposed. Is it just blocks again, or did it? Yes, it it went back to being blocks. So okay, it wasn't. Hmm. It, I don't think it actually is supposed to do that unless it's. Hmm. Yeah, I I don't fully understand this mod still. Okay, there we go. Now it is a full contraption again. Uh, anyways, I might as well, whilst I have it standing here, I might as well give a bit of an explanation as to how it works. And hello there. You buy? Portal charm. Okay, I'll grab that. But, okay, that <laughs> Okay, okay, let's be honest. Get Not that he just randomly appear, but actually came with something curiously possibly useful yeah that wasn't expected at all uh charm can go there okay uh, you you know what this means right yeah we can ease much easier go through portals that's uh, that uh, too that too i mean like you have no reason to kill him true for the moment <laughs> anyways <laughs> Uh, here we have a plow, which what this does it well it plows the ground before it. If it pick if if there were like a rail cart, uh, a, yeah, a piece of rails before it, it would dig it up and okay, someone else wants to <laughs> hear the work. Uh, basically, this will pick up any it? rail carts. Uh, yeah, the mine was just built on the, below. Uh, okay, a, a good worry. You got achievement for get your machine burned by a zombie or something. No. I thought you said that burning zombie was about to set the fire on your digging machine. <laughs> Luckily not. Um, anyway, uh, actually, I could turn it off. The mechanical plow. Yeah. This, whilst it goes, uh, this will pick up any. Uh, this will pick up any rails that uh, it can't travels over. And okay, they're working on the forests now. Over here, this deployer, when they apparently can put things down through other blocks if they're part of a contraption, will put down a uh, rail in front of it. So basically, it's rolling a bit of a, <clears throat> a hamster ball for itself. So that it should keep going. Uh, then we have another deployer here with cobblestone, uh, which is set to only use cobblestone for the filter. And basically, that'll put down blocks in front of it, if in case these uh, it enters an open area like a yeah a ravine or comes across water or anything like that. And over here, yeah, there's a bunch of deployers behind these mechanical drills. These are here in case it runs well again through water or lava, in that they it'll put down blocks before the drills. Um, and basically just destroy the water or lava in, in front of it so it doesn't leave well, a, a waterfall or a lava fall in its wake. And of course the drills, well, they drill. So let's assemble it again, pick it up. And let's see, it, right, there's the rail. Uh, Actually, my nose. 
diamond pick backpack. Uh, was my sneeze that loud? Uh, no, I didn't hear it. There. All right, because it it, it is where I just spin my chair around when I need to sneeze. Uh, let's see, we have nothing built on the other side there. So let's give this thing a test. Uh, if I get it out of the backpack again. Okay, it should already be loaded with a few... Okay, why... Oh, it's ignoring rotation. So it's always going to be facing the same direction, I think. Uh, let's double check that. Or not. Okay, it's being a bit iffy now. There we go then. Now, it should already be loaded with some rails and cobblestone. And all we really should need to do is add some coal. Because it's sitting on top of a coal... Uh, not, not a coal, on top of a... <clears throat> on top of a uh, furnace minecart. Yeah, it's, it's hidden at the moment, but if we just fuel it... it uh, Okay, <laughs> that didn't um, work. Hmm. Right, it did work. It did work, look. Yeah, it did punch a hole in the wall, but that, that, oh, I think I, it, we might have put it too close. Yeah, you put it too close, so it ignored it. It had the block inside it, it ignored. Okay. Test two. Okay, just for simplicity's sake, add a bit there. And, yeah, for what I know, you can basically do airships like this, yes. Hmm. Yeah, okay. it doesn't look pretty so far. Okay, I think this, this deployer isn't working fast enough or something. That it runs itself aground. Hmm. Okay. Just a quick stop in the assembler should fix that. Uh, this one. There we go. We put that on top of the rail because it needs to, to have that. We put this into it. Why does this keep changing? <laughs> okay. Uh, that would mean we'd have to remove all of this though. Hmm. Or it is it's okay, it's separate blocks again. Okay, if we hmm. first off, let's get rid of that one. And we're going to be moving this one back a bit so that it might be a bad idea. The easiest way to do this would probably be to just extend the, the stupid thing by one block. Actually, yes, let's just do that right now on this side instead. Uh, okay. Linear chassis. As long as these face the same direction, they will stick together on their own. Break that off. Then we need some glue. There. Stick that in again. And... Yeah. This on there. And there. And that should work better. Heavy emphasis on should. <laughs> Um, it's gonna hide here for the moment, just in case it's gonna do what he has done with most other invention of Hillian's mach machinations. Okay. Explosions, go haywire, destroy cities, moons, and all that. Now. If we put it again, it's why does it keep facing random directions? Okay, uh, just for the sake of it, 
and it should come on. Oh, north west. Oh, I see it on the map. I think, and I forgot one step. If you break a mine, a furnace mine cart, they fall apart. So we need to disassemble it again. Also, this thing from the last time still. Uh, yep. Wait, you're running away from them? And northwest would mean that they would be in this direction. I've been looking all over you little shits. Okay. I won! There, have your horn. Do a little jig. Oop, two. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Those two just run past me. Uh, I think you mean you saw enemy pop enemies pop up around here or something? Yeah, uh, it looked like it was a big blob. And wait, wait. Did, you, did they say northwest? Yeah, that would be this way, not the. Uh... Oh yeah, then the other way will be northeast. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure they spawn outside of your region, anyways. So that couldn't have been them. Oh, yeah, we can go okay. take a look for those for the moment. Uh, yeah, we need to put the we need to disassemble that thing again. You two enjoy yourselves fighting among each other. Yeah. There we go. Uh, yeah, I've been eating quite a bit of the different items, so we have a hell of a lot more health now as well. Thankfully. And to help along with that, we have... We have creepers going off behind us. We have toast sandwiches. You mean you... you... Wait, where's my toast sandwich? Hey, hello? Let's see. Put this back in. Did you steal my two sandwiches? Nope. Or at least not to the I point that you can prove. <laughs> no, 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 just because of that, no, no, I'm gonna make more. But yeah, these are decently simple to make. Uh, our button, not you button. Just bread, butter, toast, which is made with butter. Which is made with food press, cooking pot, milk, and salt, and yeah, it gives a hell of a lot of re <laughs> it gives a hell of a lot of uh, regen for that. Okay. Maybe just uh, been making a bit more meme. Uh, well, what we could be considered with meme in this channel with me and my sandwiches, and now it's spread to you and Minecraft. There we go, furnace carts. Go assemble this thing again. I thought I heard an that arrow probably was stuck in the side or something. Okay, pick that up again. Yeah, and I've, I think the merchant got killed by the skeleton. Now he's over there. I... No, that's his llama. Uh, where did I? No, not that one. This one. I, I should name these stupid things. There we go. The spectral eye. Oh, there we go. Okay, never mind. Yeah, he's he just gone but... invisible. Getting a bit tired of this thing just turning in different directions. Okay. Now, this should work. Still a heavy emphasis on should instead of will. Is it turning? It's turning again. Why the why the hell is that the turning sim <laughs> bearing on that thing? Uh, okay. Actually, let me just empty this out so we can take a. We have more space to work with, so we don't have to constantly move things. Okay. In you go. 
Now, where was... Okay, here. Other. There we go. Lock rotation. It wasn't... For some reason, it wasn't responding to upward movement with the mouse wheel. Uh, why is that pod glowing? Oh, hmm? How many... Okay. What was that about? Not... Uh, probably because we're... It's connect... Okay, to show that it's connected to this one. And I heard you. Uh, you... <laughs> Swacked him with a wrench. Then, I, then again, I, I want those huge wrenches and whatever that is. Would probably good to kill a zombie with. True. A lot of weight in a small space. That is typically what makes a good crushing weapon. Okay, hopefully now for the last bloody time. Did we just? I guess I'm not the uh, boss, the zombie lord's pet that just attacked you. Okay. Uh, that, that, that. And also, people, if you see a zombie in full ghoul armor, well, you figure out how, how he died. He had the worst <laughs> armor. Yeah. Why was it. Why did it go backwards? What? Yeah, but what? Okay, maybe it's from the sides. There we go. And why is it... Why is it not putting them down? It should... Uh, let's disassemble it again. Wait, have you double-checked that it's loaded? Uh, there, there. Yeah, it has rails. And it, these should have access to them. So why is it refusing to put them down? Hmm. Is there something that needs to be changed or something? Hmm. Don't tell me it's... Maybe it's... Maybe it's because of the... Maybe the... Uh, bleh. Let me do this. For a moment. That's your own fault for having to walk me in front of me whilst invisible, dumbass. Okay. Uh, where did I have it? It may... They should be able to be able to place those down through the, the Baron, but apparently not. And if that is the case, then it might also be that they wouldn't work in the uh, tree farms as well. Hmm. Let's see, where is the glue? I'm pretty sure I had it somewhere here. We... Glue. Okay, it's in the other back then, probably. Yeah, I should really just start labeling these things and sorting them. There we go. Give me that as well. And we do super glue there. And just to be safe there as well, stick that in between. There we go, turn. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's deactivate that. Get some cobble. Set it as its filter, so that's the only thing it can take. It... Come on, take the cobblestone. Is... Okay, the hell is going on with it now? Well, it, it is turned off, after all. No, it's not facing the correct way. Or at least it's not... Actually, the connection point shouldn't matter, I think. Hmm. There. Now, will you take the stupid stone? 
there. Okay. Okay. It should... Oh, mm, that's facing away again, but that shouldn't matter, I think. Slash hope. Hmm. Oh dear. There, make it actually disconnect that. There we go. Lock rotation again. Now we pick it up. Our ability soon spent an hour. Yeah, we're close. Yeah, it, we haven't been done. Oh. For a moment, I thought you were attacking me, stupid. Okay. Just in case we need to reset that thing there, I'm just setting up a separate thing. Facing the wrong way again. There we go. Okay, hopefully that should keep... Well, it... It counts as one item at the moment, otherwise we wouldn't be able to pick it up. Why is it... Oh. Uh, um. That wasn't meant... Okay, why... Wait. Why are they not working? You need to tell the other box to put it, uh, them down, like you told uh, the other things to pick up. Hmm. Uh, they, they're supposed to be putting them down. Are they up too high or something? I'm pretty sure I made it exactly, or almost exactly, as the bill, as the uh, video had it. Or are they up too high or something? Uh, but they could do could not look too high up, but they don't look like they would reach the ground. Uh, it, they interact with blocks two, uh, well, with things two blocks be beneath them, so one, two, they should be able to reach that. But okay. let's try Actually, this again. Actually, just realized if you needed to build a new block under it for you to walk on. Then it would still be too short. Maybe. That's one. That's two. Okay, with them facing sideways, it'll also be easier to set the filters. Or change them if need to be. Has enough cobblestone? Yes, it does. Okay. At the very least, it did pick up some stuff because that wasn't in there before. Okay. Hmm. It's. I think this might not work because they. I removed the glue. Remember to set. All right, it's a correctly set. I hope. Did it just? Okay, so they were not connected. <sighs> I hope at least they didn't destroy them. Uh, yeah, there they are. Okay. So we just grab the glue. Remove this. One, two. One, two. Actually, 
That still would leave them disconnected here. So we need to glue up the sides. Okay. Come on. There we go. Okay. One of you cobble, the other rail. There. That should work now. Hopefully, freaking finally. Uh, double check rotation. Yeah, locked. There we go. Okay. If this if it doesn't work now, I'm just going to give up. There we go. It, it's still not. Why is it not? It should be placing the you know, rails in front of it. Like when it let's put it down. Okay, we can't see the filter on it anymore, but it should still apply to it. So why is it? <clears throat> Unless it, it, it might be a case of because you remove it, the filter gets reset. Yeah, I didn't remove you know, anything from the you know, deployer, so I, I, re, I, I reapplied the filter specifically. I mean, it, just because you picked it up, may I reset it? Just pick it up to put it in your bag. That shouldn't work. It's the only explanation I have. So yeah, try to just put it back on, then apply the filter. Okay, the filters are there still. Okay, then yeah, I don't know what this is going on. Let's see, lock rotation. And then they turn back to... Hmm. Let's see. Wait, those the chest need to be over... Oh wait, they were picking up stuff, weren't they? They were. They were picking up stuff. Let's see. Gravitational force can imitate player interactions. It always interact with position two blocks in front of itself. Even through blocks. Place blocks, use items, activate, harvest, and attack mobs. Okay. Right click to give. Hey. Hmm. They said in front. Okay. It, it should still work even it should work no matter what place and way it's pointed hmm. but yeah let's give up on this for the moment then yeah it might be good day to start that video more uh, but should see. we try and find that the uh, raiding party yeah uh, this I think there's only one left so I think they won't last too long. Uh, where did I leave that thing? It's got a cold call. Your best defense is the environment. Yeah. Let's see, did I put it in? Not that one. Not that one either. Gather is that interesting concept. Like, imagine you, you build a castle in the middle of a jungle with a moat and all. You have. You can also supply yourself and your people. There. Within this area, comfortably for a while. However, the jungle is filled with diners and all. So whoever will invade you, man, you need to get through the dinosaurs. Yep. Okay. And the reason I'm, I grabbed that llama is because we don't actually have any llamas here yet. Right. Actually, I think we do. Yep. Right. We have two of them. 
Yeah, what's to say? What the heck are you all about? Yeah, more will always be useful. And there's a reason there's that noise now over there. I'll show that in a second. Are you made it always rain over there? Nope, that's one of the extra mods that I've added. Okay. No, oh, it's also the one that. Okay, did... why didn't it not? Okay, I'll be able to show it with the bow at least. There's no splashes. Yeah, I th it is nice, but also I'm surprised that people spend modding hours to make that. Uh, it was something that appeared in one of the trailers for an, an update to Minecraft, and well, they didn't add that to Minecraft. So the modders, well, a, a modder called Doctor Rat or Doctor Four T or something like that. that <clears throat> uh, they decided, well, if they're not doing, if they're not going to make it, then I'm going to make it. Okay. <laughs> I thought I had more arrows, but oh well. There. Oh, uh, yeah. Now, when things get dropped into the water, it'll actually give a splash. It's, it should have. Hmm. It did splash. Now, that, there should be a, a bigger splash to it, or. Hmm. Not like that. Uh, you're, you're throwing a modded item. That sort of splash. Whoa. Yeah, but that it is could nice. be because it. Could be that it doesn't recognize that. Not. That's odd. Or is it just for entities? Hmm. Let's double check that. With what force? Uh, I almost yep. forgot to ask. Hmm. What happened to the shield? Uh, this is the same one as before. This is the heavy. That's the heavy uh, shield. I thought it looked more like a your average riot shield. Not. Oh, that explains why it can give shocks. It has bloody Tesla coils on it. Yep. Yeah. There. One more. And the. Uh, yeah, this is what's going on with that noise. It's the same mod that adds, that should add these splashes also, well, add sounds and effects to waterfalls. What? Basically, it, if uh, if there's overflow like that on top of a source block, it'll do that. What overflow? Overflow, like how it's oh, it's it's not from the source. It's not the source block itself, but the extension from it. Okay, gotcha. And I was pulling your legs there. So, just as an ex vis vis visual example, uh -oh. I do this and then that. There. Okay, that is nice. And, and I feel like, like if we were able to, were to restart this map, not only will we be able to make a better village, or colony. We probably could do some very nice fountains with this. True. Hmm. And yeah, there's. I don't think there's too much reason yet to restart. But yeah, it might still be an idea to move move the colony up from the the from the yeah, the caves. Yeah, at least it's starting to build upwards. Like, hmm. we, we will take the foundry, but we will also move upwards. Yeah. And if, Let's see, there's... I also learned something, a bit of a trick with uh, Create, uh, to make things go Hello. faster. That, that will be the last thing I start talk about now, before we actually go to the bloody foundry. Uh, you painted red? No, uh, it, it's actually 
really simple and realistic as well. So let me just fill up. Right, it's simple and yeah, realistic, yeah. but you don't paint it. Uh, are you all right there, Billy? Okay, Debo, you have an excuse me. He said he wanted to be a bit more warm with the earth of late. I did not expect him to be literal. Yeah, by standing on high voltage power. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not the power of earth you feel in there, Billy. <laughs> uh, just realized there's actually a better place to show this, because I, uh, I said in like the second stream or so that I would build a little thing with the water wheels and belts to show the rotational stuff. And I finally got to that. Only I was wrong. Uh, I thought, I thought with one gearbox you could have it go around in circles, but yeah, that's clearly wrong. Because apparently it goes from turning, it, it turns against itself or something. Yeah, so that didn't work. To get a circle, you need three gearboxes like this. <clears throat> that looks good. Yeah, as there's an armor stand going around, just as an example. Uh, but I can connect this to here. And then a sort of useful thing with Create is that it'll show... If you hold it on to an item that you can connect it to, it'll preview like that. And there we go. That one is now going twice as fast as the other shafts here. Just go from a big cog to a middle... Uh, to a small cog. Uh, oh, cog, all right. And we could even keep extending that to just keep on doubling up the amount of power that gives. I kind of like the cogs. Like, I can see us making a workshop with use of uh, cogs and uh, gears. Yeah, it could be interesting. Uh, I should put some shafts between that because if they were to touch, they would break because they are going at different speeds. It would also give you help to move an alchemist uh, artificer feel. Yeah. And Slight also is a bit of steampunk. So just put a big one there. It'll turn at the same rate. And we put that uh, there. It looks faster. And that's because it is going faster. Uh, this one is going at, no at uh, normal speed for this one uh, with the water wheel. This one is going double that. That's transverse front flip. This one is also going at double, and this one's going at four times the speed. Okay, what the heck? It's simple transmission. This is how gearboxes, uh, how different shifts in uh, cars and such work as well. <clears throat> okay. Just, uh, the easiest way to to see it if is to look at uh, a bicycle's gearbox. Or it's gear shifts. Uh, how at ah, the, the back okay, wheel there okay. is it. Yeah, if you go down, if you go up in, uh, yeah, if you go up in shifts, it'll shift to a smaller gear. So, yeah, it'll transfer more, transfer more power. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, now I get you. Also, Do you know? <laughs> yeah, that one's below ground, uh, below us. Uh, the final thing then, this is a slightly different water wheel design in that it actually uses soul sand on the, at the back, which, well, soul sand with source blocks actually gives upward momentum. So it, it's actually turning the wheel faster than the other design would. So you did find a way to make the water wheel faster and better. Yeah, I also got that from videos online. I did not discover that on my own. And... Yeah, we could basically continue with these until it would go absolutely mad. Um, <laughs> maybe don't tempt fate. Uh, I I was actually thinking about trying to build something as a sort of <clears throat> example for these different speeds by just attaching belts to it, but I think this also works on just showing it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, over here, I I finally connected this thing to the rest of the system. So the, this, though it it seems that it has jammed or something. Oh, it's full of freaking oak saplings. Uh, 
Yeah, well, I need. I need, still need to build a, an overflow to that. And I think there is something called a stockpile there. Stockpile shift. It uh, toggles a redstone signal based on the amount of stored items or fluids in the attached container. Comes with a handy filter as opposed to a comparator. The stockpile switch allows configuration of thresholds. Uh, basically, if I put one of these next to this and then put a... <clears throat> uh, I, I forget specifically how it would be done, but it basically uh, activated so that it would drop stuff down into the this, into the garbage pit as, as, if it reaches a certain amount of uh, yeah being full. I will have to double check how exactly to set that up though. So for now, we'll just have to clean this up manually still. Or maybe I could just have it send. I'll be sent to a secondary burner or something. Actually, this thing is still here. We could. Yeah, I'll I'll figure that out some other time. We we have uh, something else to do. And where did all? Yes. Oh, Conquest. I know where all. It's the magnet again. I, I really should just bury these things a lot deeper because we picked up everything that was supposed to be thrown in here now. Yeah, w w why do you have the magnet with you? Uh, yeah, to, to pick up loot easier so I don't have to go running around. I also upgraded it to an advanced magnet from the normal one. What's the essence of undead? That, that's actually, that's rare, I'm pretty sure. Okay. What is that used to make? Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Just the graves? I don't think those are normal graves. I think these are the same as the one we built before with just grave dust or something. Or wait, 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 wait. What's the with this? Something, this is something about that one. Take the graves or you... Yep. Do you mind? Let's see. Decorative graves are used for praying with an ankh and are sometimes haunted by souls allowing the practice of magic. Okay, so that's what that little orb is. Oh, we already pretty much figured that out before. That that orb above the grave above is a soul. We just need to figure out what the hell to actually do with it. Well, necromancy were never use strong suited. Hello. Hmm? What's that? Next to you. What? The circuit table or... Oh, it's just... A... Oh, what was an office desk? <laughs> uh, this one hasn't seen much use yet. I've been trying to make a rail gun over here, but I, I'm lacking a certain part for that still. It, 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 wait, wait, wait. I beg your pardon? Yeah, the immersive engineering has a rail gun in it, besides the pistol. Let's see. Well, you... you I, I can help you do something better. How about a rail cannon? <laughs> uh, you could convince me to. Yeah, first you need a cannon. Then you need some uh, caught rails. A lot of gunpowder. Put the gunpowder into the cannon. Then you put the uh, the train rails into the cannon, then you fire. Yeah, uh, yeah, I just I don't know where I picked these up, but I was looking for prosper prosperity shards actually, so we could make this thing, the master infusion crystal. Ooh. And the reason why is well the other one was limited in uses. So now with this thing, we can continue to combine these into well, stronger versions, and we could actually make weapons and armor from that. Ooh, so we can make some proper stuff now. Yep. And four stacks of the green one gives us one Supremium. And Supremium, Supremium. can be made into... Let's see. First, it would need to be made into... Uh, metal, yep, through Supremium ingots, which would need prosperity ingots, for which we would need even more of the blasted 
<clears throat> of the blasted prosperity shards. I still haven't found how to reliably get those. Um, Supremium growth accelerator grows the plant above it faster. 60 range? I might have to look into that at one point. But for now, Supremium we could use for really a, a watering can. <clears throat> what the Anyways. heck? It's a premium chest plate, which is three toughness and ten armor, which is actually I think that might that is more than diamond at the very least, maybe even more than netherite. Uh Supremium Swords, 24 attack damage. Uh Supremium Pickaxe, 22 attack, a seed reprocessor. Gesundheit. Furnace. Thank you. I was to say he's faint, but then I felt that nope, there's another one coming. <laughs> okay. The choke point for this is going to be these prosperity shards. I'll have to look into how to get more of those. For now, this can just keep going as it is. Maybe I could upgrade the plant inside it to or the farm ground that it's on. Either way. Uh, let's clear this out. Get rid of yeah, all of how to leave the, uh, the... What would you call it? Uh, would it basically count as a factory? Uh, yeah, this is already sort of a factory at the moment. I don't know. Uh, it is a factory. Let's see. Anything else to throw out? That can go there. That can go there as well. Keeping that, we're keeping that. Uh, we can't put the bags into bags, but there is an upgrade to allow that. But seeing how they, how we could easily accidentally throw one of these into the transmutation tablet, I'll, I'll not do that yet. Actually, uh, these are both empty. No, nope, this one isn't empty. Okay, let me just throw those in there. That way, we won't accidentally do that. I mean, would it wouldn't be better really to keep the tablet somewhere else, but they realized we might lose it from uh, crashes. Yeah. Or other so stuff. The safest place for it is in our pocket, literally. Yeah, but also, it's also at the same time the most dangerous, dangerous there. Okay. Uh... One more thing before we head off is we grab the, get ourselves an obsidian skull shield, which should protect us against fire damage for up to 30 seconds. And then let's go to the hill drake. And let's see. Regeneration 2. Fire resistance. And a bunch more fire resistance strength 2. Uh I just realized something. Hmm? For your little device you tried to beat earlier, would that basically mean we, we would be able to make a literal land ship? Uh, technically, yeah, as long as it would actually put down the bloody, <clears throat> the bloody rails. So basically, we can make a land ship and name it Hildrake. <laughs> yep. It, it, the, for once, it would be a name that would make sense. Hildred would make a good name for a damn land ship. Uh, oh dear. The Marienburg land ship. We become a reality. <laughs> and for those who wonder what Marienburg is, it's Amsterdam in Warhammer. <laughs> okay. Now, let's grab one of these. Okay. Um, we figured out last uh, some time ago that actually lighting up the <clears throat> the spawners doesn't actually disable them. So actually, t -t -t silk touch one here. I'll move that up. We won't have any use for that in the middle of combat. Now let's see regeneration and fire resistance. I know the shield is supposed to protect us already, but let's do that just to be certain. And... Here we go then.
bit surprised that there they are. Oh, sentry! Here we go. I'm grabbing these in parts to phantom spawner. Okay. Yeah, the reason I'm grabbing the spawners is so that we could add them to uh, our mob farm. That's another blaze spawner. No, that one was lost. And yeah, we are <laughs> completely untouched by the fire. Uh, there's still plenty of blaze spawners around. Yeah, I, I think these guardians are getting very confused and pissed. Yeah. Okay, they have worked down our first health bar. Okay, uh... Legendary sandwich. Uh, okay, quickly just get a stack so we can climb. It does look quite nice in here. True. Okay. Yeah, Still in time. go we'll check the boxes out the chests out later for now oh, miss miss <laughs> it's gonna be interesting to build in here for sense yeah we, we have finished pillars finished roof and all that yep Actually, use this red. Uh, wait, yeah, then. All right, now I was done. Okay. If we were to dig through into the walls, we just maybe need to dig everything through again. W wither skeleton spawner. Okay, that is going to be extremely useful. If we want to nice. kill more spe uh, yeah, kill more withers or so. I, I don't usually remember if. Uh, hmm. What were you to say that instead of the wither? Now, I don't Asparagus? remember if we can make any... <laughs> no. Uh, I don't remember if we can make anything else with wither bones and such. Also... Because in the mods, I will not be surprised if there's a wither armor set. Okay, we have some stuff floating around us. Uh, just securing those. Molten core. Wither... Where did we get wither stuff from? We didn't kill any. Okay. I'm pretty sure we can get something from magma... Actually, I think if we put magma cubes into a smeltery, we can get lava that way. So we could have another form of infinite fuel. Yep. I just realized we still not build our arcane forge and all that. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually thinking about we could make it an arcane tower instead. Oh, I like this. Yeah, we could fill it. You know, we could build it into one of the pillars that we have going. I, I have been working on a design for uh, just checking for any more spawners. I'm be, I've been checking, uh, working on a design for a. Uh, what have we? for an elevator in create that uh, you can actually bring to uh, that you can actually go to specific floors with and not just up and down specific places okay we still have fire resistance so there's no reason to be too careful here yeah uh, okay yeah i still like the idea of or a a, a tower <laughs> oh dear then again, here's the thing about healing people. Whenever we try to play a survival game, we can build houses or that. 
Usually the first thing it to me is a tower or a very long ladder into the sky. Yep, it's, that way we can find out to how high we can actually build. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, it, it is satisfying oh, to yeah. not be freaking bothered by these things anymore. And, oh, there, there's yeah, two just up imagine here. their frustrations. What hit me there? I mean, has Do they have so physical attack? <laughs> okay. They might have. Holy. What? I, they're not supposed to be able to knock us back like that, I'm pretty sure. Should we destroy that uh, thing in the sky? We could use a spell book. I'm not sure if uh, spell books would be able to break these, and there's a freaking lot of them. Yeah! You, wait, you didn't notice? Yeah, they were there were a bunch before, but not this many. Give me that. Tactical retreat. Go. Oh. oh, there's spawners and hidden there. It seems. Uh, uh, okay, there's something here. So to re uh, just like to get a bit worried about. What the heck are we supposed to do with the other lava? Uh, we could make it into obsidian. It could work. Did it spawn from there? Or are these just decoration? I think those are decorations. Just spokes mm. coming from them. Nom 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 nom. Okay, we still have... We still have. Ax oh, it's just it's placing the new. It's placing unused ones in. Okay, there's definitely a spawner here somewhere. Yep. Okay. Oh, they hit sneaky. The hail bale. Okay. Okay, so they hide some spawners inside some of them. So it's good to rest here for the hay bale is there to make the smoke. Oh, no, I look at what I said, wonder how would we build the other structures in here? Uh, we could yep, do, taking damage from something. We could use the main way as a through fair and build things partially into the walls. All right, that, yeah, that, partially intro walls would be good idea. So that means that there's a reason to get rid of the lava there. Yeah, we can keep, keep the keep decoration it. bits, mostly. Yeah, most of them. But we try to save as much of the roof and road as possible, since, let's be honest, this is a damn good road. Oh, okay, that's the bone shields. That's enchantment works. Go. It seems that the splashes do work with the lava here. Yeah, I was to ask about that earlier, uh, but got distracted with everything. For, for anyone curious about it, by the way, the mod is simply called Effective. Oh, oh hello, we want that. That's right. Three. Crying Obsidian. We, we could still use that for decorations. There is a good amount of it. Uh... Hmm. Now I just got a stupid. <laughs> Never mind. I, I got a stupid idea. What if we put bats in with the uh, the Drigmies in the uh, farm? What would we even get from them? I think they only work with farm animals. Hmm. So, oh no, what the heck would happen with bats? I, I think they're supposed to work with everything that has something to drop. But yeah, we could find out by just 
trapping one in there. Okay, for now though, let's do a quick retreat. And... Oh, loading in some stuff. Let's repair our Silk Touch pickaxe. Let's see. That, yeah, that'll upgrade it. Yeah, for some... Uh, what is... Slime Steel doesn't actually... Okay. There's something odd here going on. Because as you can see... Uh, it's supposed to have uh, ov over a thousand uh, endurability with this. And the, the tool... Uh, the handle should en enhance the, it even further from that. But for some reason it's just not. I don't know what... It might just be specifically because... Wait, is it because of the tool binding? No, that, that can't be the th hmm. No. Wait. Okay, so it has 1,200 durability almost, but according to the, the durability enhancer, that should be all... It should be... Uh, that should be more. That, like at least 1,300 or something. I, d I don't know what might have been going on with that, but at the very... Actually, no. Hmm. What does the... Hmm. Let's see. It's slime steel. I should have some stored here. As in plenty stored here. Uh, there. Okay. Maybe there is something with the... Mm. Maybe there's something with the, yeah, with the silk touch that causes it to cost more per use or something. I don't know. What I do know is that we're going to save, you know, put all of this in there. Don't throw that. I, I should change what stup what buttons actually throw stuff because I keep throwing at myself accidentally. Uh, blame your tantrum fits on that. Sure, sure. Blame it on the buttons. Uh, put that away. That. And I'll just put the arrows there. Just so I can keep, it, uh, keep track of how many we have still. Hmm. Actually. This is where we started, so we might as well start looting a bit. Actually, let's double check. Uh, 593. 592, okay. Oh, <laughs> that's a lot of stuff. Get 10 on. scraps. Okay. What were those armor? Uh, diamond leggings and diamond leggings with nature's mend repairs tools using aura. Okay, that is uh, it's, that is from one of the other mods that we haven't touched yet. So. <clears throat> oh, we did so well to start the raid in this today to so claim it in uh, your glory. Crossbow. Gold nether banana. Okay, and more ancient debris. What? What? Yeah, <laughs> golden nether banana. Can we make anything with that? No. N not eaten it yet? What the heck? And I okay. thought Digimon fruits and meat were weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In that world, uh, you literally have meat farms, as in it grows bones from the ground. <laughs> yeah, just just a big bone growing out of the ground, and meat grows from it. it actually, describing it that way actually made it sound horrifying. But in the game, it just looks a bit confusing and silly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, an enchanted crossbow. 
unusing. Tools become unusable when having one durability left. That is a very useful and very simple enchantment. I also have it on the bow oh. here. That way they won't okay. break. Okay, that is small. I was wondering, wait, that sounds stupid. Then it has, okay. It allows it to, to you to able to repair it before it, you can be, you, that, that, that is smart. That is smart. Yeah. Okay, there's a bunch of spawners there. So here we go. Let's double check. 140, 10, uh, yep, 1040, a bell low. This is anything in the cavalry? Nope. Uh, fire potion ran out. Okay. And, okay, that magma cube, how did the, okay. And, <laughs> hmm. Yay. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're going, yeah, the shield didn't help as much. It's, it seemed, or maybe it's just specifically against uh, lava or something that that helps most. But it did protect you against the blazes then well. No, wait, yeah. you took, you used the shield yep. and a potion? Yeah, I think the, hmm. I think the potion is what was doing most of the work. Yeah, but in combination, they were very strong. Hmm. So then again, we did not expect to send in the damn cavalry. Okay, quickly. There we go. And now it's... Okay, that took 101 from that, not one. Why was... Hmm. That's odd. Think you may want to kill the big uh, chunky. Oh. oh, you look baffled that we shoot you. You didn't expect that, did you? Uh, potion fire resistance and all of the extra health is now gone that's co that's going to be annoying to deal with yeah this is the case we may have wanted to something like an ice spray you know just yeah, instead of flame through them just Ross throwing them? Uh, not sure that would really work that well, but... Worth a shot, perhaps. Yeah, I, I, I Actually, suspect they're resistant to fire. Uh, there is cryo ammo for the miniguns in the pressurized... <clears throat> uh, in the hydraulics mods. So that might work. I don't actually know if enemies have certain weaknesses or not. True, do with mods, it's likely possible. Yeah. Okay, next one. It's no spawners here. Uh, those, bear, bear. The big one is slow enough that we can dodge it. Okay, what? It's the slime. I, I don't think it's the slime that was knocking us back. You are standing on the pillar he knocked you off from. Yeah, but they, it, it, there wasn't a... Oh, oh, that was a lot of damage. Not that. Come on, regenerate. There we go. Okay, so it does do a freaking ton of damage still, even without fire. <laughs> Let's... You, you, you sure are 
Oh, I can't believe say it is uh, under heavy fire. Sort of. <laughs> oh, but that went through. Okay. Get out the way. Great, a new batch spawned. Is that the fire? A bit of you need something to blast those damn things. Yeah, we, we we should really try and get AOE spells. Or at least AOE damage spells. Uh, do I have it with? Yes, I have it with. It's time to bring forth the spell book of grudges. Let's see. Let's go with seven projectile and then explosion harm amplify uh, let's go with that just okay people I, I do apologize he's an alchemist and artifier artifice and a little bit of a mage however he never been really creative with the naming his spells <laughs> I can't tell if it's actually doing... Okay, it is doing area damage, just not a lot. Another big area. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need to upgrade the spell book and, and other things. Come on. Hmm. Actually, that we have it with. Uh, number six, projectile, and then... Break. What if we amplify the hell out of that? <laughs> that actually works. <laughs> okay. Told you so. That'll prevent. Yeah, we have enough of we have enough of these spawners by now. So yeah, there's no real need in saving up any others. Yeah, so we can take it's those gonna, out. Yeah, especially it's not worth it. We already have so many, and it may cost us a lot of frustration. Yeah. Zoom <laughs> tight. I was coughing. Yeah, all the same. What? <laughs> okay. Let's deal with the sideshow. Do you just need to blast them? Nope, something yeah, damaged there. one barbarian alive? Yeah, they must have gotten themselves stuck in a hole somewhere. Let me guess, we're gonna need to find them. Uh, likely. The annoying thing is that the, the barbarians don't, aren't actually that identifiable by silhouettes. Since... What is it that they're doing like with that? Wait, are the two different ones? Like, one just shoots and one that actually does uh, melee? And I think it, I think they're switching, but it, it could be something that's been modded into these specific ones. And hello there. A bit low on the cobble. Okay. What's Some that you're there. standing on? Let's send everything through. It'll get sorted out later. There we go. Okay, bunch of diamonds and a single piece of freaking granite. <laughs> Okay. 
have to break this again. And, oh, what? Spectral arrow. Okay, don't know what that does. And backstabbing three. Amplifies damage when striking a target from behind. Okay. But you are pirates. And just boots with blessing. Blessing isn't actually that useful, I think. It, I'm not even sure if you can upgrade it. I'm not throwing it in there, we're throwing it in here. I'm not sure that uh, blessing is actually a very good thing or not. But I, I think I heard mentions of it, but I forgot in what uh, Capacity. circumstances it was or what uh, YouTuber. Let's see. If that's chance to receive a short buff when hit. Yeah, depending on what buff that is, though, it could be good or not. Yeah. Oh, and these are doors. I guess you want to have a very high level blessing for it to be worth uh, of some use. Oh, those are widow skeletons. That, okay. Okay, so that explains why you found with the skeleton bones. You're fighting yeah. them elite! And very clearly, we have lost the fire resistance. Okay, I didn't expect them to do that. I thought they would stop. Helian, uh, did you take a look at what they, they are called? See, strength, 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 fire resistance. They, they are called Torch Sentry. go okay now we should be safe from well fire damage at the very least and let's see more diamonds and ores here i'll keep that one just in case we new we, we need to renew it again bone diamonds There. Okay. What? What would we build over here? Uh, we could. Hmm. We have control over a corner of it already. Yeah, we may be an industrial area we could make from it. Industrial or... Okay, maybe it's a bit too big for... living area for the civilians? Um, let's see, we could still go those ways. At first... There... And there. Okay. Slimes aren't following us. Uh, they just flew into the lava. Yep, I, I heard it burn. Oop, I forgot to check up. There we go. Those are mostly harmless now. Where did you... Oh. That. There we go. Yeah, the slime the slimes are the only real problem now. More doors. This is the blood sp spots on the carpet. Yeah, I think that those are typically from things falling to their death, I think. Or they should be. Let's see. Yeah, that also <laughs> freaking works. No spawners hidden here. And just the end of the foundry, apparently. Or one end. And, okay, this opens up in against a mine shaft. Okay. It could be interesting. Oh, actually, we 
This we've been here before. This is where we originally found this place. Okay. Keep an eye out for more spawners. And we should be safe. Should? Is the key word here? Should? Yeah, and we've drawn us. Okay, I think we've covered nearly every place now. There's still some area over there. And more of these bloody things. I think there's actually something you should be able to make with these. Yeah, cockroach ring. That's needed for an animal dictionary. I don't know if we have that or not already in the in the magic book. Actually. So there are still hostels around, but they should despawn when we leave. Basically make leaving this place open for us. Yeah, there's a spawner. I uh, just need to carefully make sure our borders start to consu consume. Um, Cover the area. We... Pardon? That looks... That the, our borders cover the area. Ah, that one, yes. Expand, so... Expand! I was looking for expand, not consume. Yeah. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. There we go. I think we should be getting near to where we actually have an entrance to this place as well. Or is that upstairs? Does, does this place have multiple levels, perhaps? That would be interesting. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's not put that one in there. Okay. Oop, diamond block and gilded the blackstone. That would look nice in the the, the forge. Uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how you build the dent out. Like again, you're becoming a hero's free wizard. <laughs> you have towers, you have golems, you have skyships. That are propelled by Dutch windmills. What is a banner? Is that something we can combine with shields or something? Or no banners? It is likely. It is very yeah. likely. And let's see. Straddle jump. Increase the height of straddle board. Jump. What the hell is a straddle board? What? Inspiration. Bane of Illagers. Let's, let's actually do a quick test here. Bring you back out. Banner. Might as well make it a purple one. And then there and there. Nope. Don't you need a weave? Uh, probably. And okay. There's flags as well now. Or at least modded in. Okay. I'm using again. So, yeah. soul speed. Okay. And yeah, you definitely should watch some videos that are more up to date with this version. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Another at soul least uh, speed. for how to do banners and shields. Yeah. Let's see. Most of them are gone here. What is actually up this way? Well, over here is nothing. And that odd melee attack. Normal blazes don't have that. Yeah, dude, these ones are called 
the foundry guardians or forge guardians. Yeah, so they might they might have had a an attack modded into them. Yeah, since they are most likely elites. Okay. One. And any other spawners? There. There. There's another chest hidden up there. And... Oop. And that's the end of this piece. Which should be that we've covered everything now. Uh, ah, they are called Foundry Guardians. Yeah. And they do kind of look a bit different compared to other blazes, as they emit so much more smoke around them. I'm not too sure about that, but uh, they are a lot more annoying at the very least. Okay. Let's see, bunch more ore, uh, gold ore. I'll be taking that as well. To a degree, we don't really have much of a need for gold anymore, but we we can still use it as fuel for transmutation. And that has been taking up quite a bit of power. Netherite. The ancient it brain. It also work well as a, as a decoration. Yeah. I should put a faster transporter underneath that. No hidden ones. Oop, there. Okay, again, gravel for... I, I, I think when these boxes spawn, they might actually break what they're supposed to... what was supposed to be there in the first place and end up picking it up or something. That might be why Maybe? we find that in there sometimes. Possibly. Uh, that, that, that wall with just obsidian, that one is an easy option to, yes, dig into. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait, it's obsidian. Hey there, Noon. Huh? Hello, Noon. Who's your good fairy? Stupid... Let's see. Where's that lighting wand again? I must have put it away. I'm should say supposed to say new in, but I still choose to hear him say new and to say it. <laughs> I keep saying it. Oh, you are just a good fit. Yes, you are. <laughs> I should keep it professional. That's. Uh, but yeah, welcome noon. Uh, hope you're doing well. Uh, we've been clearing out this foundry here that has been next to the colony for quite a while now. Let's go to the cave layer. Uh, yeah, I think we've cleared out every part of it now, or at least cleared out the spawners. We've been there, there. We've started here, I think. Yeah, uh, we plan to take control of this. Yeah, basically move part of the colony into here. Uh, let's let's check this way. Question is, what should we move in here? Is the question here now? Uh, if we if we put fences up to uh, if we put up fences around the lava, we should be able to put anything in here. Uh, Helian. Just replace the lava with water. Yeah, but that, uh, then we'd have to light this place up with a bunch of with uh, a bunch of torches and stuff again. So hmm. for decoration, I think we could leave it. All right, then. He, yeah, then you just need to do something to keep them from falling inside. Yeah, like uh, fences. Yeah. Probably. 
<laughs> chat. Uh, yeah, we've cleaned the place out for early spring, so early that we did it in fall. But that, okay, yeah, that's the question. Is it late or is it early? Or both. Let's see. Uh, oof. Both? Brain hurts. Brain hurts. Your cue that the Lexi has stopped oh, responding. Uh, yeah, now we're just cleaning up the place. And the outlay. Oh. Uh. Oh, I it seems that I thought I set the timer, but apparently it didn't start. And yeah, that's the last of the raiders gone now. <laughs> okay, that's easy Finally? useful as well. Uh, Successfully yeah, yes. defended. <laughs> yeah, by letting them kill themselves in the wildlife. Well, yes, it seems we've already hit two hours. Uh, though. Uh, uh, a bit under two hours due to stupid stream deck one refusing to work up at first so shall we add another few minutes to this yeah we can add us a few more minutes new in you see all right on the throat oh yeah we got uh, a bit for a few more minutes yeah let's see we could probably break down those doors to make some uh, to well open up to the whatever's behind them though i get the feeling that might as well be <laughs> complete walls as well okay you mean it's confusing me you know other other than late right other what does Better. Have to do with this and i, I i'm sick Nuin. i'm still sick Preserve experience and beneficial effects on death. Okay. Yes, tones of tasty. How do trick Kalia to think it was a turkey? Let's see. I think this is the last chest. And what spells are on these? Protection 2 and Protection 3. Nice. Useful. Okay. And there, there, there's even a way to just disenchant stuff like that, to get the spells off of them and put them on something else like our mage armor. Or maybe we could make netherite armor. Or perhaps... Actually, uh, actually you need diamond armor to make netherite armor. And I think... Uh, I, can, I could... Disclaimer, I'm unsure of this. I could be wrong here. But if you turn a diamond armor into netherite armor, I... I think it keeps its enchantment. Okay, so we should keep that armor around at least. Uh, yeah, no, we should. We maybe should do some. A, ex, keep some part as an experiment to double check before we dedicate to that plan. Yeah, just make uh, some diamond boots for this low. And it, actually, yeah, that, that would be a waste to to make uh, to. Just try and turn in a normal pair into. Oh, we could re enchant. <clears throat> okay, here's my thought process. We could just make uh, a pair of diamond boots, put a low level spell on that, and then turn it into netherite to test. If it works, yep. then we can add extra spells on top of that later from the books. Yep. Uh, hopefully it works. I, I hope I'm right on this one. For, uh, if I'm right, then basically we have some uh, pre-enchanted good armor for future. Yeah. So, let's actually see. Our, may, our Archmage robes gives 8 armor and 2.5 toughness. How much does Netherite give? Let's see. 8 armor and 3 uh, and knockback resistance. Okay, so it is a bit better. Can we actually can we actually upgrade that even further with some? Oh, hello, carbon chest plates. Well, here's another thing about netherite. 
is one of your items that lava can't destroy. True. And, uh, okay, if, if we somehow get enough uh, aldermodium to make this, uh, I'd say we should probably do that. 15 oh. armor, 125 toughness, and 12.5 knockback resistance. Yeah. And we can use that even further. It's vibranium and unobtainium. Of course, it's purple. Helio's favorite so. color. Stash all of that away. And I... Th yeah, there might still be some stuff hidden around here and there. In these uh, chains. Leon, take a look at the chat. Mm. <laughs> War never changes, but Minecraft sure did, yeah. Okay. Um, least, uh, some people complain that netherite didn't look fancy. But personally, I think netherite looks better than diamond. So let's uh, be honest, netherite sounds like a better armor than diamond armor. Yeah. Says, yes, diamond is strong. But due to the hard is also brittle. So they would make extremely hard armor to make. And you could actually break it due to its brittleness. Yeah. Okay. Um... Just... Yeah, diamond, just, that may be the hardest thing in the world. Doesn't mean it's indestructible. Let's do a little test to see just how... Uh, just how things would fit in here. So, uh, let's see. Ooh, yeah, this could be interesting. I'm just going to use a mine as a test to see how big things are, since in Fortress style, these are mostly the same size anyways. Uh, I already had something placed down. There we go. Okay, Fortress. Then, let's see, that is the side. If we move that far enough that it covers the lava... Okay, it would still cross into here. So, let's see. Let's do a quick little measurement of size. Okay. They're keeping a three wide, uh, th three wide path in between. Then it would be need to be dig. We would need to dig. Let's see. These are generally 16 blocks long, so three, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, six. Okay, we would need to dig about seven into the wall. But that would still be a lot less work than digging the entirety out. Yeah, and if you look up. True, that would also mean... Hmm. And actually, I just refer that it removes a lot of work for us from uh, having to fix the roof. The only roof we need to worry about is the one in the walls, and not the entire thing. Or we could... Hmm. It would take a lot of the walkway like this, only leave a two-way path, but we wouldn't have to dig anything up almost anything out, only that little extra bit. Yeah, and mm. actually, look there. You, you have already done hole. Let's see. Uh, we would have to, again, dig out in the ceiling here, though, and we'd, we'd yeah. dig into that, so I don't think we'd want to dig into whatever that is. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I agree. Do, there's another one over there behind you with just net right. Oh. Maybe instead we could that. have them go like this. Basically, having everything on the side instead of facing inwards. 
Yeah, it could work. Then you just have a small street to turn around to get inside. Yeah, ba basically like this, we could have it be like a dwarf fortress a bit with a bunch of workshops all over the place. <laughs> Yeah, that could work. It actually becomes a working district. It actually makes sense since this is the foundry. Yep. So mm, having... Yes. Actually, yeah, having smithies, smelters, stone masons, mines... We actually have a mine shaft, even. So, yeah, this could be our working district. And it would keep a, a pathway clear like this. And there would still be there would still be buildings that would be bigger than this, but we could make we put those at the end of uh, of these uh, <clears throat> of the lanes. Yeah, and if we put them aside, that means we can still dig into the walls. Just we don't need to dig into the walls as much. True. Uh, yeah, we could try give that a try. Um, and we actually... could still. We, hmm. we probably lose a little lava, but we could still make something. Like we... Oh... <laughs> okay, what idea did you just get? Lava lamps! <laughs> okay. We can have the streets lit up by giant lava lamps! Okay, just digging through this to make a shortcut to here. So there is an alternative idea. Hmm? We could you also just have a... Uh, put over rails, a cart, and put Nurin in a cage to have them uh, light up the area. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see, new one. Eight, eight, eight. Wait, uh, new in? Can you do favor light? Let's see. We, we pay you in cookies, carrot cookies. <laughs> Is carrot cookies even a thing? I probably. Right. Okay. I, I think they just confirmed they can do fairy light. Or that they will do it for carrot cakes. <laughs> <Let's see. laughs> he said the eel. <laughs> okay. Um, before next stream, before the next time that we stream this, I'll try to. That is actually a lot closer than I expected. I'll try to uh, build a staircase from here to there. So we have well, a lot easier access than going all the way around. Uh, you do have uh, a already a bit of, bit of a tunnel ready there next to you to your Dewey tunnel instead of right behind the tavern. <laughs> yeah, could work from here. We'll see how I we'll see how that goes when I dig it out. Yeah, at least it, it's a bit partially done over there. Oh, oh that's a slime over there. Um, let's see, how has progress been with the colony? Then we'll, we'll do a check around and then we'll probably uh, end the stream here. Yeah. Oh, the case is for your own protection, Nubin. In case of uh, wild frogs or slimes to get through. Oh. Though I don't think Kate will protect you against slimes. I'll fill that in later. Now. Uh, let's turn the magnet off. Is it off? Okay, now it's off, so we don't end up picking stuff up from the trash cans. Uh, let's see. How is the digging gone? That was already done. This still needs to be dug out. Uh, how is this builder doing? They need a bunch of dirt for the mystical site. So let's just give that. And there. Dump in the rest as well. Let's see, how is this doing? Okay. They have, oh, they, they have been digging here. Or 
No, this is this what I dug earlier? Yeah, this is what I dug. Okay. Um, let's see. We saw that the mine was finished. Okay. I don't think we'll have a worker here yet. Oh, oh we do have someone. Uh, Lennox G. Nair. Okay. Um, okay, so in general, things are looking good. I didn't see anything about any casualties. I'll try to have uh, these... I, I'll have to have... I'll try to have the graveyard, mystical site, and such built. The school as well. Then... Uh, yeah, and then the, the colony should be good again for a while. Oh, yeah. And I'll probably look into bettering my harvesters and such. Probably connect this up again. Send all of the food to the colony. And over here, I don't really know what else more I can add in here for the moment. All of the metals are being processed. They're also being turned into blocks here. Or at least most of them are. And... Uh, yeah, I guess that'll have. I'll guess that'll be it for today. Uh, we, we got something done. Like we finally conquered the foundry. Yeah. Okay. Let's go look for someone to raid. Quit game. Move over here. And let's see. Is there anyone we know streaming at the moment? Uh. Ta -ta -ta. Oh, right, I was supposed to go buy something today, but I forgot. I will. Uh, let's see. Viking Blonde is online. He is streaming The Black Watchman. Not a game I have ever heard of. I wasn't sure if I heard that or that one or not. Then we have Azra Arcane, who is playing Splatoon 3. Yeah, I was, I was planning on buying that today, actually, but I completely forgot. Um, then we have Potato, or Potatum, or slash Tatum, who is streaming Subnautica Below Zero again. Brandon the Chihuahua, they're streaming Stardew Valley. And those are the people we know. Tatum. Or at least I know. <laughs> you, you just... <laughs> uh, There's about the name as well. She may need a comfort from playing Subnautica Sub-Zero. Uh, the... Uh, Tatum's not a she. They are, uh, they are they them. So yeah, they, they are they come across as very feminine, but they are not. They are not. All right. Did not know okay. that. Got the name slash raid in there, and uh, yeah. Uh, to, 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 for tomorrow, we we have Showcase Sunday, and I have the games tested already, so we won't have any issues with that again. Um, and uh, maybe we could do an extra stream in the after, in the evening tomorrow as well. That'll be up to you. And I'll be up for it. Let's see. We'd be continue. What should we stream? Continue with Rayman. Yeah, we can continue with Rayman. Okay. Uh, yeah, for now then, let's get the raid started. And thank you everyone who's been watching now or later. Thank you, Noon, for hanging around a bit, uh, even though we, uh, it, it was only at the end. Your uh, yeah, your presence is still appreciated. And of course, thank you as well, Drakir. You're always welcome, my friend. And uh, yeah. Uh, oh, uh, I, it seems I had... I had the uh, chatty program hidden the whole time, even though I, I had Minecraft windowed specifically so I could keep an eye on that. Uh, well, And uh, yeah, thank you all again. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Hey, same folks. Uh, watch out for gremlins. <laughs> and foundry guardians. And munchkins. Stream deck, come on.